Bahrain example is a very good example. I mean, that is an, a, a very, I'm glad you brought it up. The Bahrain example, we saw that the email came in uh, from the Clinton Foundation. The Crown Prince of Bahrain has given the, Cl the Clinton Foundation $32 million. And I don't think anybody's gonna, gonna sit up and say that the Crown Prince, uh, one of the, uh, uh, the top leaders in a dictatorial regime, uh, is giving money. I don't, we haven't heard anyone argue that, 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 that money from dictators typically comes because dictators want to reduce poverty in the world. Uh, so money is coming into the Clinton Foundation from the Crown Prince of Bahrain. The Clinton Foundation reaches out to the State Department uh, and says he is a good friend of ours, uh, this, this person from this autocratic regime, head of the military there. Uh, the, the State Department says that the Crown Prince had already reached out to them and, and that Hillary Clinton wasn't sure she wanted to have a meeting with him. And then subsequently, the meeting happens. And what happens after, uh, if that, we don't know if that meeting actually happened, but there was a, the State Department said it was going to happen. But subsequently, after that, what happened is that Bahrain saw a major increase in U.S. arms export authorization from the Clinton, uh, Clinton State Department uh, at a time that, that Bahrain was facing the Arab Spring uprisings and was accused of human rights violations in crushing at those protests. So did the money and the Clinton Foundation relationship uh, ultimately lead to those arms export deals? We don't know. Did it potentially get access for that, for that leader uh, at that time? It, there's certainly evidence that that could have happened. And again, the, the question that this all revolves around is why was the potential for a conflict of interest allowed to exist at the State Department uh, when the Clinton campaign and the, Clint and, and the Clinton Foundation now says it's now unacceptable if Hillary Clinton will, would be president? What okay, is the well, difference there?